gaslighting, the narcissist's favorite tactic. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation. The narcissist sows seeds of doubt within you. It makes you fearful and uncertain. It makes you question the truth or fact of something. It makes you question your own memory, perception and sanity. Gaslighting is a narcissist's favorite tactic because it gives them the ability to take control over you. It gives them the ability to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. It gives them the ability to restrict the argument or certain activities. It maintains their influence and authority over you. Gaslighting causes you to question yourself. It causes you to doubt yourself. It causes you to wonder if you are losing your mind. It causes you to wonder if you are going insane. Gaslighting is based on the narcissist's denial. The refusal to admit the truth or existence of something. The refusal to give something requested or desired to you or refusing access to an item or place. You cannot have a logical or formal argument with a narcissist. Many of them are not capable of clear, sound reasoning. And the ones that are cannot be relied upon to make an action or decision that might be expected or considered sensible under the circumstances. If you try to have a logical or formal argument with a narcissist, you will gradually become weaker in power, resolve and physical and mental strength. You will gradually lose your determination to reach a resolution. You will begin to submit or give in to their particular process or treatment while abandoning your own desires or expectations, your own ideas, values and beliefs. The narcissist's use of persuasion and intimidation will have an influence and an effect on you, where you then adopt their ideas, values and beliefs. You adopt their thought or action to a possible solution, their principles or standards of behaviour, their judgement of what is important in life. You begin to develop a willingness to tolerate the situation. You begin to accept that something exists or is true, even without proof. Because you just want peace. You just want to be free from disturbance. But the narcissist cannot give you peace. Because the purpose of them using gaslighting is to cause your senses to gradually deteriorate until you can no longer make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. Gaslighting is designed to make you feel confused. It is designed to weaken you until you no longer have the mental strength to stay true to your desires or expectations, your ideas, values and beliefs. Gaslighting gives the narcissist the authority or means to do what they do. It enables their behavior. It alters their appearance to conceal their identity the narcissist uses gaslighting to conceal their true feelings, to conceal what they are really trying to do to you. They will gradually begin to weaken you mentally by having no particular interest or sympathy for you, or by expressing a different opinion. They don't want you to realize or accept that they are not displaying their true feelings and that they are concealing what they are really trying to do to you. They don't want you to think, 
consider or expect that to be the case. They don't want to share the same ideas, values or beliefs as you. Because then that would cause them to be vulnerable or at risk. It would reveal their true objectionable nature. It would reveal their true identity. But when you are not around them, they are expressing the same ideas, values and beliefs as you do. They are talking, acting and behaving in the same way. They are taking on your characteristics and traits and using them to attract or impress other people. But then when they are around you, they act as though they are lacking interest or enthusiasm in what you're about or what you value or believe. They always have to disagree. They always have to express a different opinion. They always have to be in opposition to you. But then when they are not around you, they are displaying your understanding, information and skills. They are talking, acting and behaving in the way that you do. They secretly admire you. They secretly look at you as something impressive or attractive. But when they are dealing with you, they regard you with contempt. They regard you as though you are worthless or beneath their consideration. And this can be very difficult to understand. They make up all of these excuses why you are wrong and why they can never be on the same page as you. But secretly, they actually admire a lot about you. They look at you as something impressive or attractive. But they cannot agree with you. They cannot be on the same page as you. When they are in disagreement or opposition to you, they are refusing to let you hold any superiority over them. They are refusing to let you be greater than them. But they understand that you are fully deserving and entitled to that position. And that is why they have to break you down. That is why they have to weaken you mentally until you are finally at the same level or they will even try to put you beneath them. They will use gaslighting to sow seeds of doubt within you and make you question your own memory, perception and sanity. To make you lose your ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. To make you feel insecure. To make you feel uncertain or anxious about yourself. To make you lose your confidence. Until you no longer know where you are with them. Until you begin to feel uncomfortable. You begin to feel unease or awkwardness around them. Because now you no longer trust your own intuition. You no longer trust your own beliefs about yourself. You no longer trust your own memory or perception. And you struggle to rebuild your confidence because they have weakened your mental strength. Every time you try to rebuild your confidence or beliefs about yourself, or you try to make a stand, they deliberately and strategically provoke you or cause arguments to keep you down, to keep you beneath them. Because any time they feel like you are re-establishing your confidence and belief in yourself, it becomes a threat to them. And then they feel uncomfortable. They feel insecure. They will act as though they are expressing violent, uncontrollable anger. And you might mistake it as being narcissistic rage. But sometimes it's just a strategy. Sometimes it's just their way of trying to gain an advantage and trying to control you. Having control of you is very significant to them. It is very important. Because how you feel about yourself reflects on how comfortable and secure they feel. 
So they have to keep you down, beneath them, to maintain their feelings of comfort and security. Any confidence or belief that you have in yourself can become a threat to them and their control over you. It is a control tactic which they use to influence and direct your behaviour and the course of events, to maintain influence and authority over you. The narcissist knows how to act suitable or proper in the circumstances, but they are trying to control you. They are trying to trick you into acting and behaving in the way that they want you to. So they will have emotional outbursts. They will have temper tantrums in an attempt to achieve their aims and interests. They will be in opposition to you just for the purpose of controlling you. Just for the purpose of influencing and directing your behaviour and the course of events. Maintaining their influence and authority over you. They will argue about things that they will be wrong about. Things that they don't even know anything about. Just for the purpose of trying to control you. They are trying to weaken you mentally. So that you will just submit or give in. Without having any confidence or belief in yourself. They don't want you to fight back against them. They want you to give in without raising doubt or objection to what they are doing. Once they have weakened you mentally and broken you down and turned you into something more controllable, they can more easily control you. They can more easily get you to do whatever they want you to do whenever they want you to do it. You become more like a machine rather than a human being. You are able to replicate certain human movements and functions automatically whenever the narcissist desires you to do so as you are under their programming and you behave in a mechanical or unemotional manner. You lose the ability to think or feel on your own because you are no longer required to make your own decisions or judgments. The narcissist becomes the computer operator. They oversee the running of your computer system. They monitor and control you. So there is no need no purpose for you to have thoughts or feelings of your own. And that is why you find yourself making poor decisions or judgments. That is why you find yourself lacking critical thinking skills. Lacking the objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment. Because you are no longer under your own control. And you cannot regain the power over your own system. You cannot gain access to the controls. Because you are fearful of their violent, uncontrollable anger. You are fearful of them having a strong or unreasoning desire for revenge. So now, like a machine, they control you. They have access to the controls. They manage you. They operate you. They control your functioning. They can install new programs. They can delete old ones. They can modify existing programs. They can start programs whenever they desire. They can close active programs whenever they desire. They can program you to perform specific tasks. You become a machine or a computer. 
You perform functions or tasks for the user. You store and process data according to the instructions given by the user. You can no longer think. You can no longer feel. You no longer have values, ideas or beliefs of your own. You no longer have desires, wants or needs of your own. You exist only as an aid to the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store, where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.